Why was the Indian Open postponed and what could be the possible rescheduled date? So, earlier the Indian Open was scheduled to be played on uh, 17 to 20th of February this year. But uh, as you know, you know, we were facing some COVID issues. Uh, there were travel restrictions uh, where the foreigners were required to be quarantined if they were coming from certain red zone countries. And uh, because it is a European tour event, now the DP World Tour, uh, people were coming from different parts of the world. So traveling was a big issue for players to come and play during this time. That is the reason we decided that if we can, you know, postpone it by a month or a month and a half, uh, we should get over with the COVID problems and, you know, then we can host a better event, you know. Uh, had the event uh, happened uh, during February, no spectators would have been allowed, no pro -am. So we felt that, uh, you know, this is like a event that we are doing it for TV. And uh, normally Indian Open is associated with hospitality, crowds. You know, people love to come and see uh, their favorite players live. Those things were going to be missed. So we said that uh, it's better to postpone it rather than, you know, hurry it into it, you know, so that's yeah. the reason. Yeah. Uh, how, how come Vijay Devicha is here and what is uh, he doing here? So, Vijay sir shifted his academy from Bangalore to Ahmedabad about five years back. He used to come here every month for three, four days to run, start his academy, you know, and teach the promising youngsters. After seeing the facilities that we have created here, he was very keen that, you know, the best players should come and practice here, play on the golf course. They have better chances of improving. That is the reason why he shifted his academy to Ahmedabad. And we were very happy to have him because he came at the right time and with his personality and the way he teaches and creates the atmosphere. It was very good for uh, all the academy boys and, you know, aspiring golfers. Okay. And some of the big names in Indian golf like Chikrin Gappa, Udayan Mane have been trained here in KBG. Why they prefer KBG as also courses in, as there are also courses in Gurgaon and Chandigarh? So, first of all, uh, Anirban Lehri, who plays on the PGA Tour, Udayan Mane, Chikarangappa, they all train under Vijay Sir. So, when they have off-season and they want to work on their game, they normally come to Vijay Sir and, and you know, freshen up, as we call uh, so that is the reason why they come to Ahmedabad. And as you know, we have a fantastic facility, a driving range and, and a beautiful golf course, challenging golf course. So for them, it is easier to come down to Ahmedabad, you know, practice and play. And over a period of time, this has become a second home to them. Like, Anirban comes and spends almost a month every December because that is an off time for PGA Tour events. So he comes and, you know, freshens up with uh, Vijay sir and, you know, it is our privilege to have him, Udayan, Chika all around, you know. They create a fantastic atmosphere and it is great for... Uh, all the golfers of Ahmedabad, when they see their best players playing in front of them, 
they also encourage the upcoming golfers from Ahmedabad who are either top amateurs or who have started playing on the PGTI tour. So it is a, I would say, um, a great initiative uh, combined by everybody, you know, and uh, the atmosphere that has been created for bringing out champions is already there. So uh, I think that that kind of gives the answer to your question. Uh, then in December 2018, a PGA Tour video was shot of Arit Manibar Lehi at uh, Color Blues and Greens. Yeah, so there was a team uh, from the PGA Tour came and uh, they did a half an hour uh, video of Anirban, his life, how he practices, what is his life outside uh, the PGA Tour. So uh, they spent about two, three days and, and, and did a good uh, you know, episode on him. Why your firm specifically choose Nicholas Design Company for designing KBC, KBG? Was it always that the first choice to design the course or there were other company designs, other design companies in your option? So when we wanted to design the golf course, we had the residence, the ha houses and plots around the golf course. That was actually our project because we knew that, you know, getting the right mix of housing versus golf is very important for the success of the project. And as per my uh, study and research, uh, Jack Nicholas has designed more golf courses, residential golf courses in the world. And his residential colonies, you know, projects have been very successful. So Jack was always our first uh, uh, preference, but we went to US and met seven, eight different golf course architects who have designed uh, various golf course communities um, and went and saw uh, a few of them, including some designed by Greg Norman um, and then other architects. Uh, I mean, it also gave us an idea of uh, design qualities and, and you know, how they create residential around the golf course. Jack obviously uh, was our first choice and when we went to meet his team at his uh, office, we actually met him also. So that was my first personal interaction with Mr. Nicholas and I was sold straight away. <laughs> I mean, and uh, there is one uh, the, the marketing person pitched one sentence in front of us which uh, which kind of echoed in my mind he said that Jack uh, like Tiger was at uh, 14 major at that point of time 2008 and uh, Jack had 18 majors so uh, what he mentioned was that Jack Nicholas's name will always be up there, whether Tiger overtakes him or not. But there is always going to be a comparison between Tiger Woods and Jack Nicholas, and it gives a lot of uh, you know importance and brand name, a huge brand name to your project. So uh, we could manage to convinced Jack and uh, got his team to come and design the place for us. Now tell us about that interesting story of you having a hole in one during the opening day of the course. Oh, <laughs> that's a very, very uh, special day, special moment for me. So we were playing a small tournament that day and uh, it was 22nd September 2012. Uh, and on hole number 11, which is a short par 3, 127 yards, 
I hit my pitching wedge and the and the ball went into the hole. So I would say I was extremely lucky and I have not heard any owner of the golf course having a hole in one on the day of the opening of the golf course. So this is like golfing God smiled on me and it will always remain as the most precious moment for me in golf. You know, it, it just came out of nowhere and uh, what a way to open the golf course. I mean, I've had one more hole in one in that in, on the same hole. But that's it. I've had two hole in ones. I had never had a hole in one before that, though I was playing golf for almost 15 years uh, into you know, when it was 2012. So in 15 years, I never had a hole in one. I came close, but that particular day, that particular moment is huge for me. Huge. What is the story behind color, views and greens? Well, the uh, story is all there. You can come and see what we have created. But I would say uh, color blues and greens idea came to me uh, because I always wanted to play on a good golf course. I wanted to create something which uh, you know other golfers will appreciate and uh, you know, it is actually creating infrastructure for the city, for the country. And uh, what I felt was that golf alone is, standalone golf course can never make money. So it is a bad proposition for a business. But if we put real estate around it, then we get some premium on the, on the villas because we are giving them excellent views. So we tried to kind of create a business out of it and uh, eventually became very successful. So uh, it has changed the overall, uh, you know, dynamics of real estate, at least for Gujarat. When did you start golfing and who introduced you to the game? Well, I started golfing in the year 1997, 27th January. A uh, couple of my friends who used to play cricket with me and, uh, you know, I used to socialize with some of my friends. They had started playing golf and in the evening, whenever we met, they kept on talking about how great this guy is, you know. I mean, he's just started hitting the ball so long and, you know, he's such a good golfer and I kept on listening to them and I said, boss, I was a better cricketer than this guy. If he's a good golfer, then I have to become a better golfer than him. I have more chances of be becoming a better golfer because I always was a better cricketer than him. So that kind of uh, talk got me into the game and I went to see uh, the game uh, when they were playing on one Sunday, a uh, Saturday afternoon. And I saw the first shot played by my friend and I fell in love with it the moment I saw that ball flight. You know, it was, now when I see it, it was a pretty horrible shot. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I fell in love with that game instantly. What motivated you to focus your professional activity to the golf industry? Well, professional activities are real estate based. I mean, I'm a real estate developer and to me, golf infrastructure can only be created by real estate players in this country because standalone golf courses really don't make money. Government and semi-government golf courses are not possible because the requirement of land is too huge. So at the most, they can set up an academy, a driving range, maybe a small par 3 course or something like that. But uh, to make a really good championship golf course, you require 200 acres of land and government cannot spend that kind of money, that kind of land uh, because again, number of people playing are less and uh, you know, there is no pri kind of 
importance that much importance given to golf in our country though it is an olympic game and aditi ashok did fantastic in last olympics so the, if that has encouraged many young girls and boys but eventually if you really ask me setting up a golf course is basically a real estate real estate developer's work now as we are talking about kbg then my first visit to kolar was in 2021 uh, for covering the gujarat open golf championship during the event i saw a bizarre thing that a noisy wedding function was going on during the play and you being an ardent golf fan i don't need to tell you how much uh, concentration and silence is required for the sport see these are the uh, i would say nuances that you will face when you have real estate on the golf course people want to have their functions without realizing the sanctity of the game but again it's the same for everyone whoever is playing is the same noise is going to carry with carry to their ears right we try and educate our clients uh that you know during certain times one should not have uh you know noisy uh real estate but you know as we know in india we look for auspicious times so there are certain auspicious times which are available and they will have their functions it's part and parcel of uh, living in india and uh, i mean we try and uh see to it that it really does not bother the players but uh, sometimes it is inevitable okay this is the final question what is one thing you have learned from golf which you think help you in your day to day professional activity at navratna group and in life in general everything i would say golf has taught me so many things which i can't really uh pen down but i can I, you know my temperament first of all golf is so much similar to life ups and downs how you move on stay calm uh during the tough times storm will go away if you hold on to your place keep yourself safe so uh i mean it has become a way of life it is like waking up early in the morning playing a round of golf and then go to work which makes me sleep early in the evening healthy lifestyle <laughs> but besides all these i would say it's such an interesting game plays on your mind all the time uh many times sitting here i'm I'm kind of trying to figure out what is happening uh you know equipment wise what happened in the previous week you know so it's it has become a way of life and I'm very very happy and calm mainly only because of golf and it was and also um you know it's some sort of exercise I won't say it replicates to a gym or something like that but maybe as i grow older i need to maintain my muscle mass and i need to start gymming you know i'll become fitter and that will help me in my game so if you think it that way then i in order to play well also i will remain fit so i think it's a it's a brilliant game i meet so many new people wherever i travel i uh, try and you know play a round of golf somewhere create new friendships uh, relive old friendship i mean uh, you must have watched uh, at&t pebble at pebble uh, last week uh, in the month of june in 2021 i went with my my oldest friend me and him took a vacation uh, at pebble beach and we played three golf courses there spent four days there and 
clicked so many pictures and videos you know and i was talking to him yesterday i said did you see that that hole where jordan spieth hit that shot just short of that cliff and i mean there's so much memories that i create with my friends it's unbelievable i mean I, it the the other advantage of golf is that you can actually play that game till you can walk you know or till you can swing a golf club which means that you can i've seen people play at the age of 85 so other games like tennis or cricket i mean you can't play beyond a certain uh, age age is a factor whereas golf you can play there is a handicapping system if you can't play uh, that well your handicap goes up if you grow older you go closer to i mean there are different tees where you tee off from so from blue tees you go to white tees and you know then the game is equal for everyone so uh, it's such a beautiful game and i love every moment when i am on a golf course thank you very much pleasure